Magandang buhay, students! I am your Sir Isagani. Welcome to our science channel. Today, we will learn about the Geographic Coordinate System. But before we proceed, do not forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell for you to be updated for our new uploaded science video lessons. Based on our previous lesson about the parts of a globe, a grid is the combination of all intersecting latitudes and longitudes. If we use the degrees of latitude and longitude as our reference to describe a location on the Earth's surface, this is what we call the coordinate system or geographic coordinate system. What is this? It is an imaginary grid that serves as numerical reference system to describe a location of a place on the Earth's surface. To understand the geographic coordinate system in this lesson, we need to use a world map and to familiarize in different information found on it. In a world map, we can see that there is a compass showing the different directions. The first type of direction, which is relating in an abbreviation called news, which means north, east, west, and south, is what we call the cardinal directions. These are the four main points or directions of a compass. As mentioned in the previous lesson, latitudes determine the north and south of the Earth, while the longitudes determine the east and west of the Earth. The second type of direction is the ordinal directions. It refers to the direction um, found between the cardinal direction or our major or four main points or direction in our map. Let us apply these directions in our map. The direction found between the north and the east is what we call the northeast. Next, the direction between the north and the west is what we call Northwest. Southwest is the direction found between the south and west, while southeast is the direction found between the south and east. We need to be familiarized with these cardinal and ordinal directions because they will serve as guides to us to locate the places on Earth easily. Both the latitudes and longitudes have different degrees, as you can see here in the screen. This can be found in the northern, eastern, southern, or western part of a map. Each latitude or longitude has an interval of 15 degrees or they are 15 degrees away from each other as you can see here the degrees in the northern part are the same in the southern part of a map while the degrees in the eastern part is the same um, in the western part of a map if you start reading the degrees at the prime meridian, or rather in the equator rather, the degrees um, increases as we go to the north and or to the south of the earth. Next, same as you start reading the degrees at the prime meridian, 
the degrees increases or the degree increases rather also as we go to the east or west of the earth. And these are the different information that we can see in our geographic coordinate system using a world map. Why do we need to study all of this information? Because it will help you to locate the specific place on Earth using this coordinate system that will be tackled on our next lesson. I hope you have learned a lot in this lesson. If you want to know on how to locate places on Earth using the coordinate system, click the next video for you to find out. Again, I am your Sir Isagani. Have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy. See you next time!